Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Satoli. Today we're in Dearborn County, Indiana, where we came across this old phantom bridge. Stay tuned and we'll check it out. Before we talk about this old bridge, let's talk about what defines a ghost road and a phantom bridge. A ghost road is a roadway that was once owned or is currently owned by the county. This road originally carried traffic on a daily basis, but over the years, the county may have chosen to no longer maintain the road or close it completely. The road may now be private property or could still be owned by the county. A phantom bridge is a span that was once used on a daily basis to cross a body of water, such as a stream or a creek. A phantom bridge is always located on a ghost road and can be one of the ultimate finds during a road tour. Phantom bridges were usually bypassed after the current roadway was realigned. A phantom bridge can usually be located near a bridge currently in use. A good way to spot phantom bridges is to look left and right when crossing a bridge. Sometimes these bridges may be up to 100 yards up or downstream from the current bridge location. Now that we know about ghost roads and phantom bridges, let's take a look at this old bridge. Built in 1917, this single lane pony truss bridge is about 41 feet long and spans a branch of Lawfrey Creek on East Lawfrey Creek Road in Dearborn County, Indiana. I remember driving over this bridge in the late 1980s, however it was bypassed by 1993 and left in place. What is unusual and interesting about this bridge is on three of the four corners are decorative finials. Typically this type of decoration is found on bridges built before 1900 and almost always on through truss bridges. But for some reason, whoever built this little bridge found it important to include the finials. Simple, but decorative. At this point in time, it doesn't look like the county has any intentions of removing the bridge anytime soon, so it looks like we'll get to enjoy this piece of history a little bit longer. So this bridge in the past 10 or 15 years has been used for storage, usually for bales of hay. But one of the neat things about this bridge is these fennels. I think that's the way you pronounce it, fennels. You usually see these on fancier bridges, but for some reason they've been put on this bridge. And this isn't what you call a fancy bridge by any stretch of the imagination. But there's at least three of these on three of the corners. I remember driving over this bridge back in the 1980s when it was still open. This mud feels pretty soft.
Oh, that's a muddy mess down here. There we go. We got this. So anyway, this is the underside of the bridge. here definitely falling apart yeah Good thing they shut this one down. Thanks for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. And remember, travel slowly and stop often. See you next time. Mm -hmm.